Hey there friends, on today's quick tech tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a shared album for your photos right here on your iPhone. Let's do it. Okay, so in order to set up a shared folder or a shared album right here on your iPhone for your photos, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the top and go into our photos app. Now, as you can see, I have a bunch of recent photos that are available here, lots of random stuff. And what I want to do is I wanna set up this shared album by going down to the very bottom and clicking on the albums icon. Okay, once we are here in my albums, we're then going to set up a shared album by clicking the top plus button. It's in the top left-hand corner. Once I click that plus button, we're gonna get a drop-down menu and we're gonna select new shared album. Okay, this is then going to bring up some options for us. What I wanna do is I wanna just call this one test photos, and that will give us a test album to work with. And then I can go ahead and click next. Now you can title this obviously anything you want. If it's gonna be things that you share between friends, maybe vacation photos, title it accordingly. Let's go ahead and click next. So the next thing we want to do is share this album with specific people. Now, what we can do is we can type in their iCloud addresses or email addresses if that is associated with their Apple account. You can also type in their name and it will come up from your contacts list. Okay, as you can see, I've typed in a name here. And again, as long as they have an iCloud account or an Apple account, they will be able to view these shared albums. So once you have the people that you want to be in here, again, you can type in more than one person. We're gonna go ahead and click the Create button. Okay, and as you can see, the Test Photos album has been created. Let's go ahead and click on it on the top left here. And now inside the Test Photos album, we're gonna add photos that we want to be shared. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that plus button. And then I can just scroll through here and I can select some of the photos that I'd like to be shared. So let's go up and maybe choose this disc and this bike and this surfing photo. I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And then as you can see, we have the option just to name these items. I don't really wanna put any notes or name anything. So I'm just gonna click the post button. Okay, now all these photos are available for the other people that I've shared this album to see now. Okay, now the other thing you can do is actually select permissions. Maybe you just want the people that you shared this album with to view the items. Maybe you want them to be able to add photos. To do that, we're gonna go up to the very top and there's a little contact icon with a check mark. It's right to the left of the select button. I'm gonna click on that. And this is gonna bring up the people that I've shared this album with. And it also shows you a button that says subscribers can post. So if I want to take that off, I can just click on that green button there, that slider. That is only gonna allow people now to view the photos. Now, the other thing we can do here is we can set notifications. Maybe you want to know if subscribers like, comment, or add photos, then we can keep that notification bar slid. Again, if you don't wanna know, you can just take that off. Now, the one last thing you can also do in this section is you can invite additional people to join simply by clicking that invite people button. And then you can go ahead and type in a name or again, hit that plus button to add more people. And that is the basics. Again, if you wanna add more photos, simply click that plus button in the bottom right-hand corner and begin adding more photos. Friends, I hope this helps. Again, that's a real basic overview. If this has helped, please hit that thumbs up button for us and subscribe because we're making a ton more of these iPhone tutorial videos and those will be released very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again on the next one.